Hey everybody, Jim Mahan here. Today we're going to talk about basic knife. Uh, for our purposes, uh, just basic stuff. Slashing angles, uh, how to slash the attacking limbs of somebody trying to cut you with a knife or grab you, then some disarms and some takedowns and some striking. Very simple stuff today. Uh, these are rubber training knives. Make sure when you're practicing with uh, your friends or family uh, that you use either a, a training knife uh, or a, a knife that has been completely dull. Don't just take a real knife and tape it up as the, uh, the blade will cut through that tape. So use a grinder or something like that, a Dremel tool, and cut all of that off. So this is a, a basic fighting knife that is a rubber trainer. I have all kinds of knives here today. This is a, uh, a karambit trainer and then a pakal trainer that we'll use today. I think that's all I have in my pockets. No, I have, this is the real one of these uh, that I carry most of the time in my sheath. It's super sharp, so I had to be careful with Britt. She's like, don't use the real one, Dad, so I'm going to get rid of that right now. So uh, there are uh, blades on the market that have training tools with them. They call them drones, but look for that. If not, just get a cheap pocket knife and uh, take a grinder to it, right, so that you can have a, a training tool. So for our purposes today, we're going to talk about five cutting or slashing angles, okay? Normal, what you would think of a fighting stance, and I want the blade in my front hand, okay? Because it's a barrier between me and my attacker or the bad guy. I don't want it in my back hand because if I go like this to block or to grab, she's going to cut the trash out of me, okay? So I want steel in front, always, always, okay? So we're going to make an X and then a flat line and a stab. So it looks like this, right? So I'm going to go from the upper left, my upper right down to my lower left. Then I'm going to turn the knife over and I'm going to go from my upper left down to my lower right. It's just an X, okay? And it's a slash. So I'm going to reach out slightly and I'm going to drag that blade in. Reach out and drag that blade in. That's your number one forehand, number two backhand. Then it's a three across the belly and a four across the belly okay so we have a one and then a two three and a four lastly it's a five it's a straight stab okay point to be made right so with the blade there's a belly of the blade that's your cutting portion right the real drag and cut of the blade so i'm going to cut and i'm going to pull back i want you to think of this as like an ellipse, like a, a circle laid on its side that's slightly flattened. I'm going to cut and draw back, cut and draw back. So number one is a forehand pulling back, two is a backhand pulling back, three forehand, four backhand, five is a stab, okay? Now if Britt's my partner, right, and just put your hands behind your back for me, it's going to go from her like her ear to her shoulder blade, down to her hip, okay? Cutting and pulling. Then from her other ear to her hip, one and two. Then the three and four is across the waist. Three, four, across the waist. Five, straight stab. One, two, three, four, and five, okay? One, two, three, four, five, all right? So, when we talk about blocking, there's no blocking a knife. You don't block it. Uh, because if Britt's trying to cut me and I try to do a karate block or something, right, she's going to just going to cut right through that. She's going to pull it and cut my hand and now I'm bleeding. So if you think about the back side of your hand or your forearm and a, uh, a knife attack, right, or a taekwondo or a karate block or something like that, um, if I go to block it and she goes to cut that, she draws it across my forearm. I'm bleeding to some degree, right? If it's up here, there's a lot more bleeding than normal. But the real problem immediately for me is the fact that all of these tendons uh, are severed, if you will, if it's a good cut. They draw up into the, the limb itself and I lose control of my hand. So I have bleeding and I have loss of limb. That's not good for me. Okay, so there's no real blocking of a blade, and we'll talk about that in a later series, but you can cut an attack with a knife, knife to knife, 
and you can block, grab, and immobilize a blade and then disarm it. And we'll briefly talk about that in a second, okay? So wrapping up the, the cutting angles, one, forehand, two is backhand, three is forehand, and then five is a stab. Again, forehand, backhand, forehand, backhand, stab, okay? And we're back. So now we're going to talk about how to intercept the knife attack. Okay, so we're going to build upon each other like ABCs, right? So if I have Britt to stand over here so that you can see it, she's going to cut me the number one and I'm going to slash the attack. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to slash it and get out of the way. When she cuts the other side, I have to get out of the way of the knife as fast as possible and slash it and be back far enough so that it continues through, I don't get cut. Okay, so one more time. Slash, slash, the three and the four, same thing. I'm not going to stay here, right? I need to move out of the way and slash it. Backhand, slash it. Now on the five, I get to choose, right? Whichever side I want to be on. I can go like this and get out of the way and slash it, or I can get on the other side and slash it. All right, so one more time. Slash and get out of the way. Slash and get out of the way. Slash, slash and then choose, okay? So the next building block is slash and grab, okay? Slash and grab. More of blocking or immobilizing the blade because that's all we can really do, right? So she comes back over here. I'm gonna slash and I'm gonna grab the wrist. I don't wanna grab the forearm because she can still, you know, try to get pokey and bitey with the, the blade. So I'm going to slash and then immediately trade my hand, I mean the blade for the hand, right? So I can control it a little bit, okay? Then the two, same thing, slash and grab. The three, slash and grab. Backhand, slash and grab. Five, I get to choose, slash and grab, okay? One more time, slash and grab. Backhand, slash and grab. Forehand, slash and grab. And then the last, I can pick, okay? Now, the next portion, slash, grab, and stab. So as Britt cuts real slow, I'm gonna slash, I'm gonna grab, and the easiest, most natural return to the blade I can get, right? We're not trying to get fancy and do everything, you know, changing grips and cutting and doing all this other stuff yet. Slash, grab, and stab, okay? That's it, all right? She gives me the number two, slash, grab, stab. Number three, slash, grab, stab. Okay, very simple. One more time. Slash, grab, stab. Backhand, slash, grab, stab. Remember, once you cut this and grab it, it's yours. You can move it wherever you want. The three, Slash, grab, stab. Four. And the five, slash, grab, okay? Backhand, stab. All right? Now, we don't like it when they have a knife because one, they can stab us, cut us, hurt us, whatever. So after we have cut them and grabbed it, stabbed them a little bit, we are reducing their ability to cause us harm. So now we're going to get rid of the blade and end the fight, right? So... Against the number one, she's going to cut, I'm going to grab, I'm going to stab, and I'm going to move this blade so that her hand is upside down, just like we would do a joint lock or anything else. And I'm going to put the back of my forearm or my blade against her blade, okay? And I'm going to make a pulling, pushing motion and get rid of it, okay? So one more time, I'll let her pick that up. Slash, grab, stab, turn, oh, mine, okay, one more time, slash, grab, rotate, disarm, okay, and if you're lucky, you get that cut on the way out, all right, so against the number two, same thing, slash, grab, and I can turn the wrist, blade to blade, or forearm against it, but if I have a blade, I generally want to try to use the blade. I'm going to compromise the wrist, I'm going to pull, and I'm going to push with my blade, get a stab in or a cut in if I can. 
The number three, slash, grab, same thing, keeping it very simple. Return. Number four, slash, grab, same thing. And the five, my choice, right? Slash, grab, stab, right in the eye. Turn, get the disarm, okay? Last, we're going to get the disarm, take them down on the ground, and end the fight by continually stabbing, butting, or hitting, okay? So you're gonna cut me the number one, I'm gonna slash, I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna stab, I'm gonna disarm, okay? I'm gonna take my blade and I'm gonna put the hilt or the last couple of inches right in her elbow, okay? Right where the arm bends, okay? So I'll turn a little bit so you can see. Just like this. I'm gonna do an arm drag. I'm gonna make a J type motion and drag her onto the ground, okay? Then I'm gonna, st ooh, stab her, okay? One more time. <laughs> she cuts, I'm gonna slash, grab, stab, Disarm, blade down, drag, stab, 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 and then get away, activate 911, etc. Okay? Against the number two, same thing. Slash, grab, stab, disarm. Okay? You can make you can still do the arm drag, but for this one, we'll do a wrist throw. We're gonna put the blade against the wrist, turn, rotate. Use the blade to drag her down. Stab, stab, stab. Okay, one more time. And number two comes, slash grab, stab, or just go straight for the disarm. Hack, on the wrist, turn, stab, in the armpit, wherever you would like to go, okay? The number three, cuts across the waist, slash, grab, stab, disarm, right in the arm, straight down, stabby, okay? Against the number four, slash, grab, stab, disarm, we'll go right here, boom, right in there. You can go right across the throat, cut out, stab, okay? And the number five, is our choice. Boom, get out of the way, grab, disarm, mm. stab, cut. <laughs> She's learned to wait. So those are the basics, right? You have the slashing five angles, you have slash, grab, and stab, Slash, grab, stab, disarm, then the takedown. We'll catch you on the next time for the intermediate skills.